In this video, I plan on showing you how to sh how to change the cabin filter. This is a 2005 Hyundai Elantra. The cabin filter for most vehicles is located behind the glove compartment on uh, on these cars. Uh, basically, you end up opening the the glove compartment. You end up pulling this tab out. Basically, you push the tab in, and with the other hand, you pull the tab backwards. I'll show that to you in two seconds. And then on this side, there are two tabs. You've got this small tab right here. Again, this is the tab that holds the uh, the thing from opening further. And then there is a safety line that they have that you basically will have to remove. It's pretty simple as well. So I'll go ahead and show you how to remove these two. push on the tab with one finger and you pull it backwards and then you pop this rubber part out and basically this is the first tab that's been removed you take you grab this tab you pull it it's got a string attached it goes through the hole and goes through that hole right there and you're done. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the tab on the other side. And now that I've got this out, this drops down. Now all we have to do is remove this screw right here and that screw there which will remove a metal bracket that is in place here. So I've removed this screw here. Now I'm going to remove this upper screw. Once I've done that grab the screw so it doesn't fall away once I've done that you can see that this is now exposed uh, depending on on your setup there are two tabs here that are holding this thing in place and I'll go ahead and remove this cover this basically you pull push on the tabs upwards and you pull backwards and there exposed is the cabin filter basically just put your fingers through there and grab it and you pull it out this is the cabin filter uh, this is a new one that I've already installed uh, this it, this cabin filter is uh, made by it is a pure later C45662. Um, you get one of these or you get one that's made by Wix. They're about the same cost. Um, the original one, what you want to note is when you are reinstalling these things, you have to make sure that you uh, provide, you, you put it in correctly. And the way you do that is, if I can zoom in here, and show you what the cloth looks like here it is uh, felt here here the paper is pretty smooth this is the side that is supposed to be up um, if you were to go and get the OEM uh, version uh, it actually has an arrow on the front that shows you the direction of the air and you will point it downwards because you are going to be sucking the air from the top which is right there and you are going to be uh, letting the air pass through there so all of the material will be caught on top 
again uh, you look for the arrow and you want it pointing downwards because you're that is the direction of the air uh, moving through the filter so we're gonna go ahead and reinstall uh, this filter I'll just give you a shot of what it looks like inside pretty much a void um, this fits in perfectly in here I'm gonna need to put two hands Once you've got that through, there are tabs up on top. This thing has a uh, rubber gasket or foam gasket, I should say, uh, which, which is going to help seal up the face. You pass those rubber tabs through the openings that are up on top. Tab it in place. And now it's time to put those screws back on. I've got the strap back in place. Um, now in order to get this thing back installed here, um, the first thing we're going to try to do is, is you're going to grab this thing right here, this tab. You're going to pull it through this hole, this upper hole. And the way you're going to do is, is you're going to use, end up using two hands. You're going to pull the string with your right hand, push it through here while you have this, you have the glove compartment moved up as far as possible. And once that is through um, and it's holding the glove compartment in place, we'll slide in these two tabs. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult part. It takes a few seconds, but uh, you need both hands for that. Okay, um, I got that through the hole now. The thing to do now is to put these stoppers in. And so the way we do that is you push this up because you want this hole, because you want this hole to be past the backside of the uh, the rubber mold, the rubber uh, behind the plastic mold that's going to hold this in place. You slide it in on an angle like this. You once it once it when there's enough once there's enough room for it to go in through, you're going to slide it in. You're going to position it that way and then you're going to push it forward so again you're going to slide it in once it's able to slide it in through it's going to go in you turn it parallel with the body of the glove compartment and then you push it forward and once that's done it'll be locked in place so here is a demonstration of that Sure if you were able to see that or not. It's gone in and now that's in place. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side as well now. Lift it up. Slide it through. And it's in, it's in place. So that's it. Pretty much you're done with the uh, change of your uh, cabin filter and uh, that's it it takes about five minutes uh, this took about nine minutes because I was recording it so I hope that this was helpful uh, for you and uh, if you've got any questions please go ahead and leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them uh, on a timely fashion thank you for watching and uh, I hope uh, this has been helpful to you thank you